I worry about the whole child and I try to make sure that they feel comfortable, that I'm giving them the tools that they need. And I know what it is to sit in a classroom and not speak English. I know how difficult it can be. I know that many times you'll feel like nobody cares and nobody understands you. And I guess because of the trauma that I went through, I wanna make sure my students don't go through that. She helps me with a lot of stuff and she teaches me how to speak English. She makes me comfortable around things. If I'm having a bad day, she just makes me feel better. And she's just a really great teacher and I just really like being next to her. She helps me to read a lot of stuff. We were looking for that bold, creative, and also courageous person, and that describes Yvette to a T. When I say bold, I'm thinking about that teacher that goes above and beyond for her scholars every single day at Urbana, and Yvette is that one. But I would also say that Yvette takes it to the next level when she involves all of her parents as well. I was a former EL student myself, so I walked in their shoes. I know what it takes. I know the struggles they go through, it's basically giving them the courage to take those risks and letting them know that they matter because they're here and a lot of times they feel like they're not seen and I make sure they're seen. Giving them the tools that they need so that they can work in their classroom with their peers and engage in the classroom activity so they don't feel isolated because I think that's very important for them. And when I say courageous, one that will step out and know that there are other things that we can do to help our scholars and not to be afraid to implement those things within the classroom to make sure everyone is succeeding, everyone is achieving, and she makes that a point. And when I see that with her, with her students, it is amazing to see her with them making progress, sharing their stories with her, building that comfort. And then we see that that dividend is paid in the classroom when they get back. They have the repertoire of skills that they need to participate with the scholars in the classroom. And that's what Yvette does every single day. Tracy is a blessing. Tracy has pushed me to do things that I thought I could never do. Um, she has done it with a lot of support and gently but I've come a long way because of her. My favorite part is working with her because she helps me a lot doing my work. She's fun. Really, really powerful and I'm really happy for her. So we are here this morning to celebrate and congratulate Miss Yvette Taboas as the 2024-25 Frederick County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. Isn't that exciting? It's just one of those things that we do because I do it because it's in my heart and it's what I love to do. I can't imagine anything else that I would like to do. I even considered leadership positions, administrative, and I pedaled back and I realized this is where my heart's at. This is where I need to be. And for me to hear them talk to, about me the way they did, my heart is happy. My heart is overflowing with love and joy um, because you know how much you give and you know that you do everything in your power to make sure that your students know they're loved but their responses today let me know that they truly understand just how much I love them and how much they matter to me.